this time I am really going to kill Angelo, and don't you even think about trying to stop me from what I'm going to do. Angelo warned that if you try to kill him, he'll fight back. Not exactly. I am going to teach Angelo a lesson and then show him who's the boss, and I'm gonna scare him off. I know what you did. I knew you are the one that blew up the waterfall, with Bob Legon and Mars line inside. So what are you going to do to me, basically? What do you think? I'm gonna teach you a lesson for everything, and you are gonna pay for this for nearly killing not just my wife, but also Mars line. I'm still gonna tear down when your friends lives apart, and you'll be miserable forever. That's enough! What should we do to the hospital, basically? Civil. We'll blow it up. I'll make a homemade bomb, then placing it somewhere in the building, and after the bomb detonates, the building will be left in ruins and everyone will die. They'll never find out that I'm going to blow up the hospital because, if they do, I'm gone. Richard, I just see you talking with a stranger who I believe is one of your criminal partners. No. Liar. No wait, don't go yet. Why don't you just stay with me for just a bit? You know I love you. Alright, if that's what you want. I will always love you, and we will always remain together. have you been? I was worried sick about you. What? You don't have to be so worried about me. I was at the hospital visiting Dyke. And did I ask you permission for doing so? Oh come on mom, why do you have to be like this? I don't have a car and a bicycle and I would just explore around the town whenever I want to. Alright, listen. Don't you think that I'm starting to get sick and tired of living here? Don't you dare start this again Heather. You are going to live with me and my husband no matter what, and you can- Mom, don't you understand what my father has been through recently? What are you talking about? Don't you get it? One of my friends just told me that my father is starting to become a mobster, and I am worried about what will Richard do to us. How? How did you actually know this? My friend knows Richard all too well and she also said that Richard is trying to become an evil person, and we have to stay away from him before he tries to harm us. Heather, it's okay. No matter what Richard is thinking, we'll have to protect ourselves from numerous crimes he wants to commit against us, and I'm also planning to have a divorce from him. You want to have a divorce from my father? Seriously? Sorry Heather but, it has to be done. If Richard overhears what we're talking about, we're in trouble. Hello Lucas, what brings you here to my office again? Richard we have to talk. It's very serious. I just saw Richard Donnelly talking with one of his henchmen, and he is also plotting to blow up the Heart Center Hospital. What? Oh god no 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 no. Why would Richard try to do such a thing? Look, I don't know. He only wants to blow up the hospital just to try to get revenge on us for trying to kick him out. So, I should have known Richard has been hiding this secret the whole time. Now I know exactly what I'm going to do to him. Are you going to tell Oliver to dismiss Richard so he would never work here? But Oliver is still attending a meeting. He's been away for hours and he can only return if the meeting is over. And tell Mia about what Richard has been through so he could be fired. I will, but I'm not sure what MIA is up to. I'll go search for her. So long, Angelo. Help me. Please. Oh. Forget it. You are gonna stay here, and die. So? 
Did you guys calm down yet? Yeah, just a bit. I just couldn't believe that James did this to me. Paul, it's okay. At least it was only fortunate that Brandy saved you. But Dennis is in the hospital right now and we don't know when will he get released. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Dennis will be alright. Well let's hope so. Dennis is a fighter and he will survive. I remember the time when Dennis was shot and killed by Simon after stealing his money, but the whole thing was just a hoax. However, Dennis and I were kidnapped in a concrete made building, but we escaped. Totally! But let's hope Dennis will be released if he fully recovers so hopefully the skeleton-like creature won't bother us again. Absolutely. Alright, wanna eat something for dinner? Sure. Can we all have some raw beef please? Oh and don't forget the orange juice. We want to drink that as well. Okay. Coming right up. Hi Mia, I'm back. Man, it's been a pretty long meeting, but now- I Oliver, we need to talk. It's very serious. Why? What happened again? What's the matter? Listen, Richard Grunewald just told us that Richard Donnelly is about to blow up the Heart Center Hospital. It was evidenced when Richard Donnelly was talking to his criminal partner, I assume, and they talked about blowing up the hospital. That's horrible. I mean, I just couldn't believe Richard Donnelly is trying to blow up the whole hospital. Totally. But the deputy CEO also said that Richard Donnelly will use a homemade bomb to blow up the hospital, and if we don't take action against him, we are all doomed. Guys, calm down. I'll talk to Richard Grunewald at my office and we'll discuss what we should do to Richard Donnelly. Please fire him, Oliver. He is a threat. I know, Mia. Just please calm down. Everything's going to be okay, I'll promise you. All right, I have to go. I need to talk to Richard Grunewald. Where's Fred? I don't know. He's been away all day and we haven't heard of him since. Did Angelo kill Fred in a gunfight? I'll hope not. If he did kill Fred, we're totally screwed. Like, so screwed. Where on earth have you been? We thought Angelo killed you. Guys, listen. We have to talk, but please don't interrupt what I'm going to say. So, I went to Angelo's house, confronting him, pointing a gun at him and... I killed him. You, you did what? What do you mean you killed Angelo? Guys, look. I'm sorry. This is exactly what I've been wanting for so long, but I finally killed Angelo. However, after I shot Angelo, I heavily poisoned him with a ton of poisonous splash potions, and he was killed immediately. What? Oh god no 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 no. Now this is getting even worse. What would Angelo's criminal partners say after they found out that Angelo is dead? Guys, can we please stop talking about Angelo already? It's over. This nightmare has came to an end and Angelo won't bother us anymore. Angelo had it coming for blowing up the waterfall, with Bublegum and Marsline inside, and he deserved it for continuously committing crimes against us. I'm, wow. We're just shocked. So this is exactly what you've been planning for a long time. So, now what? What are we supposed to do? Do we have to stay here and do nothing just so we could get confirmation about Bubblegum and Marceline? Alright, you know what guys? We'll have to talk more about Bubblegum and Marceline tomorrow. I have to go home because I've been through to one hell of a day. What do you want? Can't you see that I'm preparing to go to bed? Finn, listen. We need to talk. It's about Angelo. And, is there anything about him? Has he been sent back to jail yet? Well, no. He's dead. I was called in to investigate at the house where Angelo lived, and I discovered his dead body, and I also saw a gun dropped on the floor. I'm, wow. I'm just stunned. So does this mean that this nightmare has finally came to an end? I think so. However, we are not sure who was the one that killed Angelo, but the police golems are investigating the case. That's all I- No wait. What about Marceline? How is she? Look, I don't know about Marceline. 
I haven't asked nor the doctors, nor the nurses about how she's doing, but we'll go to the Heart Center Hospital so we can try to find answers about how she is doing. In that case, let's go. We need to find out how Marcelina's doing. Why did you guys send me here? What did I do? Why ask? You were talking to one of your criminal partners about blowing up the Heart Center Hospital, according to Lucas. But I only want to do this in revenge, that's all. You guys are trying to get me out of the hospital, but I can't let you kick me out. Look, we have to. This is the only action we have to take against you, and you are going way too far because of what you're doing. You are trying to threaten us, so that's the reason why we want to see you gone. Oh wow, you guys are out of your minds. I've been working in this hospital ever since I moved to Castle Bush with my family, and you two have no right to try to kick me out for stupid reasons. What are you two looking at? Don't you think that you two are so dumb and useless? Huh? Are you trying to ruin my life just because you are trying to fire- Alright, that is enough. I have no other options but- You're fired. What? What? Sorry Richard but, your career is over. You are becoming a mobster and you are trying to manipulate us, and I can't let you try to harm us. Now get out, pack your bags, and leave. Guys, look. Can't we at least just talk more about- GET OUT OF HERE!